Say hi, Moose. Say hello. How much is he's what? Almost 115, 120? 115 pounds. 115 pounds. Yeah. Look at that big boy. He's, <laughs> he's, he's such a sweet boy. Moose, say hi. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> That's a boy. <laughs> He's like, no thanks, I want to play. I want to play. <laughs> Sweet boy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is that time of month again for monthly favorites. We are officially in the holiday season. Thanksgiving has come and gone, and now we are fully into Christmas and holidays. It's just madness, and it's Monday. It's Monday. I always film. The second I sit down to film, our recycling and trash trucks come at the same time. So you're going to hear them in the background. So I'm going to go over. I really don't have a ton of stuff for my November favorites. I really tried to switch it up a lot so I didn't use the same thing over and over again which on other months I tend to do so I only have a few things to talk about but I'm sure I'll still be a 20 minute video because that's just how we roll the first thing I'm going to talk about is fragrance and I was contacted last month by fragrance.net asking if I would like to receive a few fragrances of my choice and let y'all know about them and I said sure I would love to because I hadn't really, I think I'd heard one other person talk about them, but other than that, I didn't really know much about them. And she told me, the woman that I was emailing with said that, you know, they sell fragrances and makeup up to 80% off of retail prices. And so I'm going to show you what she sent me, but I want to tell you this first because I did ask her and I'm reading straight from my email. I just said, can you let me know only because I know my subscribers will ask, how are you able to sell authentic perfumes for so low of a price? Are they close to expiration? Is it overstock, etc.? She was very nice and very open, and she said that all of her products are 100%, or all of their products are 100% authentic, fresh, unopened, and brand new. The reason we were able to sell at such a great price is because we are exclusively an online retailer, so we don't have any of the heavy costs associated with storefronts, rent, sales, associate salary, salary, utility bills, etc and therefore able to sell our products at a much lower price and bring our customers some great savings. So I said, that's awesome. I'm all about, you know, you know I'm all about like savings and a deal. The more you save, the more you can buy, right? <laughs> that's my philosophy anyways. So they did send me three perfumes that I was able to pick out. If you are new to my channel and you don't know my perfume style, I either wanna smell like cake or man. <laughs> Those are like my two preferences for perfume. I really like masculine scents and I really like sweet scents. I'm not too much into florals. Um, I have a few perfumes that I do like that are floral, but overall they're not my favorite and they're not what I'm drawn to. So these are the three that I picked. The first is called Pink Sugar. I have had this on some kind of, what it, wherever it's sold, I think it's sold at Sephora and somewhere else that it's sold, I've had it on my loves list forever. And I've just never, the plug and bought it but I'm so glad they sent it to me this one I'm not the best at <sighs> fragrance notes I'll try to maybe write down in the bottom of the screen the predominant notes this smells like cake oh this smells like cake it smells so good I haven't decided which one I'm you know what I don't know I'll decide which one I'm gonna put on because I haven't put one on that smells amazing and it lasts fairly well on my skin. This one, again, another thing that's been on my list for so long, it's the Giorgio Armani C Perfume. This was super popular when it first launched and for good reason, it smells really, really good as well. I think when I let Chad smell all these, he said this was his favorite. It's hard, it's, I can't even begin to describe this one. So again, I'll put the notes, but I'm sure you've smelt it. I feel like every Macy's, Nordstrom, Sephora order has some kind of sample of this at some point or another. So I'm sure you have smelt it at some point. And then this one is the one that took me by the surprise, by surprise the most. I had smelled it at Ulta, I don't know, probably two days before I got the email. And I'm like, you know what? I really, I, I want to try this. Um, and it is Mugler angel perfume. 
So this is the amazing packaging and the little squirt contraption is back here. This smells straight up, I think this is even listed as a unisex perfume. It is straight up a manly scent. This is the one I'm gonna wear today. You need one pump of this, just like that. That's it, you don't need to put it on your arms, you don't need to put it in, that's it. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of when I was little and I would walk into my parents' bathroom and my dad was like shaving and had just put his cologne on. That's what it reminds me of. But the way that it transforms on your skin, at least on my skin, it lasts all day long. I'm talking like 12 hours later, I will still smell it on my skin and I cannot say that for many perfumes that I have. It's just oh, so, so good. So I am going to list these perfumes and link to them in the description box. But then she also gave me a 30% off discount code for y'all. If you want to do some Christmas shopping and get some really nice authentic perfumes, I can attest. I really do believe these are 100% authentic. I would tell you if I didn't. Um, then definitely take advantage of that 30% off code because you're getting 30% off already discounted perfumes. So you can't beat that. Okay, next I have been acquiring some not some, quite a few Jane Iredell products lately. I want to do um, a full face using Jane Iredell, at least mostly her products. I don't like have mascara and a couple of other things, but I've slowly been trying to acquire some because I have her BB cream and her mineral foundation and I really, I like it. So I was like, you know what, let's, let's get some more. So I'm going to talk about three of the products that I've acquired and really love in this video. The first one I'm going to talk about because I haven't put it on yet and I want to see, I want to show how it works on the skin. Hopefully it will come through on camera. This is the Palmist Hydration Spray. So it comes in this really pretty red bottle with a gold cap. Um, it is three ounces. I believe it's 30, I think it's $30. 100% of the total ingredients are from natural origin. 31% are from organic farming has a ton of different like extracts, aloe leaf, pomegranate extract. But then at the once you get start getting towards the bottom, it's got pomegranate seed oil. I thought I had another oil. I don't know, but the whole point is is it doesn't matter what I'm wearing on my face. It could be the most matte products I have ever owned in my entire life and I can spray two sprays of this on my face and it will completely Luminize my face. Is luminize a word? I don't know. Let me show you. I'm going to be extra and do four. I know I said two. You don't need more than two. I'm going to let that sit on my face and kind of dry down. It's It smells almost, it smells like pomegranates. It does have that scent to it, but it doesn't linger on the face. I like to part my hair this way because my thin area right here doesn't show as much, but then I'm so used to parting it this way. Y'all, this is the bane of my existence. My hair, and I know y'all are so tired of seeing me touch it. Okay, um, so I'm loving that. Two other things that I'm loving from Jane Ardo, both of which I have on my face today. This is the Golden Glow Mineral Powder. Now this is the pressed form. I don't know, I think that it comes, I know that you can buy a compact. I don't know if you have to buy it separate but they do have like refillable pans. I think that this particular one was sent to me. Um, so maybe it's different, I don't know. But it's just a regular powder. I don't know if it's even focusing, but it's got a J embossed on it, although I've used it so much, it may not anymore. It's so what I have on my face today. It sets any makeup beautifully. I have not found an issue with it going over any foundation, and this is one product I have used over and over and over again this month. One of the things I like about this so much is that it does not give a matte look. They do have a separate matte powder, but this one is this one is in the color Golden Glow. I don't find it imparts too much coverage, although I do think it's a foundation powder as well. Um, I just have never tried it that way. I only use it to set my foundation, but it gives a nice, very natural finish to the skin, and you can apply this 50 times over and it will never cake up on your face. The only other powder I have that I can say that of is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder. This, both of those are amazing touch-up powders. The Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more matte and finished than this one. So if you have super dry skin, you might like this one 
maybe a little bit more and it is a natural mineral powder so you might want to keep that in mind if that matters to you but as a whole I have been absolutely loving it this one is an eyeshadow now I started using it using it as an eyeshadow and I love it as an eyeshadow I got actually quite a few compliments when I wore it I think it'd be a beautiful bridal color but then I was like you know what I was trying to use all natural makeup on my skin one day just to see and I didn't have an all natural highlight so I chose to use this as a highlight and I love it. It's what I have on my face right now as a highlight and it's just the single shadow by Jane Iredell in the color Allure. So it's just basically a nice lid color. It really, I guess it has more of like a peachy pink undertone if you really look at it. I don't even know if it's going to come across on camera. But again, that's what I have on my face today as my highlight. It's so natural. Because it's mineral, I think it lays better on the skin. And it's just a really pretty highlight. I love it. I have found myself reaching for this the most for my highlight this month of anything. All right, and this is has been a favorite in my kit, but I don't hear many people talk about it, so I wanted to mention it in my favorites because really and truly, I use it on so many of my clients. I know that I've talked about my Senna Cream Blush Palette in the past. I still adore that. I still use it a lot. This I use almost all the time on Mothers of the Bride because of the color, but Bridesmaid, I mean, really, I'm not partial. It's the MAC cream base, cream color base in Vintage Rose. So this is the color right here. You can see a lot of um, spatula indentations and it doesn't look like I've used a ton of it, but honestly you need the very smallest amount to pack a big punch. This is using a spatula to take it out because I don't want to compromise the san sanitation. Now obviously this is not what the blush is going to look like once you have blended it out on your cheeks but it's going to give you a color it's really it's neutral it's beautiful but it adds enough color because like i said before as we age we lose the natural pigment in our skin and we need to put it back to show the flush that makes us look youthful and this is a perfect color to do that i know a lot of y'all have asked me um i think especially after my last top five blush video you know what I would suggest on mature skin I would suggest a a cream blush and B that because I really do think the color is very um, bearable on very many skin tones and because it is a matte cream blush it's not going to accentuate anything you want and I know I answered a lot of y'all saying that my favorite powder blush for mature skin is the Bobbi Brown Tawny those two combined is a match made in heaven this with Bobbi Brown Tawny on top, you cannot beat. Okay, the next, I only have two more products. The next product has literally been a lifesaver for my lips this month. I have been struggling so much with my lips, breaking out, getting red and raw, and it's not because they're chapped, it's because I have an issue with my lips that I haven't been able to figure out. But I went in to work for Smashbox a couple weeks ago, and a friend of mine that works there, could see on my lips because one of the things that happens is that lipstick will not stick to the areas that are um, irritated. It just won't do it. So if I try to put lipstick over, you can really tell the areas that are irritated because they just don't hold any product. And you know how I like my nude lips. So it kind of stands out. And she saw that and I was talking to her about it and she said, oh, you need to try the Therapy Systems um, RX for lips. So I went over there in the tester and I scrapes like the first two layers off because honestly I have seen so many nasty stuff with lips lipsticks and lip products and testers um please don't ever try them I <laughs> just it's so gross what people do in retail settings but um I scraped the first couple layers off and then sprayed it with alcohol and took one from the very bottom I took a little um tester and I put it on my lips and holy cow by the time I left that day I was amazed amazed at what it did now i'm still having issues with my lips i'm not saying it cured them i don't think until we figure out what's causing it the root of the problem that they're going to be fully cured but this has helped so much therapy systems is a local tennessee brand from i believe you can buy it online so i will link it down below 
But if you are in Nashville, Cosmetic Market sells therapy systems. They used to have a separate um, store in the Green Hills Mall, but since then they have just gone to the local cosmetic markets, which we have like, I don't know, three or four in the area. So it comes in a pot like this. It is like that. It has beeswax, it has almond oil. So if you've got allergies, be sure and check out the um, ingredients. But it also has a vitamin A retinol derivative in it, which really helps turn over the cells in your lips, just like retinol does for your skin. And that's what it's helped me do. So even if you don't have issues with your lips, if you just have really dry chapped lips this time of year, I highly suggest this. You need a very small amount. It does have a really pretty tint to it. So you could actually wear it as your lipstick, but I just normally put it on at night or during the day as needed. I don't think you can overuse it because I've gone many days where it's all I put on my lips. And it really, it tingles at first, but it really works. So I highly suggest checking that out if you have any kind of lip issues from dryness to chapped to just issues. <laughs> all right, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is a deodorant. Sometimes when people say that, I'm like, click, I click off the video because I'm like, do I, do I really wanna hear about your deodorant? This was actually a YouTube made me buy it product. Um, a lot of people got sent this in PR and when they were talking about it, I had it in the back of my mind and then I was at a women's Bible retreat that I went to in October and I was talking to a girl who is all organic, only uses organic products and natural products. And when I said that I really wanted to try a deodorant, she said, which one is it? And I told her and she goes, that's the only one I'll use. It's the only one that works. And that's what I had heard from the YouTube people. But you know, I just, sometimes I, I don't, really know what I can trust from certain people and those were the people that I was hearing this from. So because this girl said that, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna get it. It's the Native Deodorant and it's paraben free and aluminum free. So I've never had luck with natural deodorants. Um, I have to use like the clinical brand deodorants because when I work out, I sweat so much. And so I was hesitant to try this, but I ordered it, it's $12 for 2.65 ounces. It's, I'm not even near being a third of the way done and I've had it for a long time. Coconut and vanilla, a very slight smell. It's not one that you're gonna smell like 30 minutes later. You know, some deodorants that you get, it's like overpowering. You can't wear perfumes because it kind of counteracts with the deodorant smell. That's not, it's just a nice fresh smell. So when I first started using it, I've always heard you have to detox your skin. I don't know if I buy into that whole detox thing, but um, I've heard that you need to give your, you know, underarms like a few days to get used to it. First couple days, it was not near as bad as I thought it was going to be, but I still kind of felt like I smelled. And then after like three days, when I thought Chad was going to kill me if I asked him to smell my armpits one more time, <laughs> I was like, okay, I just need to, I think I'm okay. And because every time I was like, I literally, I was like, do I smell? And like, <laughs> he was like, no, stop sticking your armpits in my face. Um... He said I never smelled. He couldn't smell the scent, but he couldn't smell like body odor either. And then after like three or four days, I just stopped, like it was normal. I had normal days. It was just like I was using my clinical strength, full of aluminum, $10 at the drugstore. So there's only a couple dollars more and it's free shipping deodorant. So I have to recommend this because it's the only one that I've tried that actually does work. I'm not gonna say that you're not going to sweat. I still sweat when I'm working out, but Normally I wear tank tops working out anyway, so I don't have to worry about like sweat on my shirt. But you know, during the day, regular, I have had none of those issues. So it, it's definitely one to check out if you are wanting to try a natural deodorant and are actually tired of the ones you've tried not working, if that makes sense. So I'll link that down below. Yep, I believe it's a 20 minute video. What did I tell y'all? I can turn two items into 20 minutes, no problem. That's just... Me. I've been told in my comments I talk too much and yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm not for everybody. So hopefully um, you got maybe some new ideas from this favorites video and I think that with all the Black Friday sales and Cyber Monday sales that I'm going to have a lot more new stuff to try out in December. But for right now, that's what I was loving in November. As always in my favorites videos, I want to know what your favorite product was for the month down below because you always aid in my shopping list. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, I hope you all have a very blessed day.